Hi, welcome back to Wolfpack Weekly Sports Roundup. I am Michael Houston. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Brady. And this week we're going to tell you about some of the scores and what our teams did this week. Yep, so let's just uh, get straight into it. Going into this week's results, we're going to just try and keep it a little bit more, uh, what's the word, brief? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it more brief. We're not going into every result. Yeah. I'm sure they are all online, so if you want to find out every result of what's been going on, you can head to the website. Uh, yeah, or you can just make some friends on other teams and find out for yourself. Follow them all on Instagram. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, <laughs> we can maybe uh, start looking at updating you all as well. Yeah, do a bit of self promotion as well. <laughs> so, starting with basketball, there were two matches this week one for the first and the second men teams. And both of them won, but of course the story that continues this week is the first team won again. They've got their undefeated streak continuing. They won against Edinburgh uh, University Thirds 76, 76, 76-45. Before we get into the rest of the results, we have a kind of special little shout out to Emmy from the Surf Club who competed at the Bucks Surf Championships, I think it was. I forget where it is as well, but she competed in the Bucks Championships, we know that much. And hopefully our editor can chuck in a photo of her here from the Surf Club Instagram page. As you can see, she is hiding behind a cardboard bit of paper. So That's great. But I did find a picture on her own Instagram, so this is what she actually looks like as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Emmy. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just the I think that's the, the kind of special shout out before we yeah. go into the rest of it. So well, without any. further ado, yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah, exactly. congratulations, congratulations, <laughs> and hopefully we will have the results for next week's show. In football, the men's second team won two one against Dundee's third team. So well done, and unfortunately the women's team lost two 0 So better luck next time, girls. Yep, uh, some mixed fortune as well in the rugby. The men's first team lost to RGU up in Aberdeen, but there was uh, some uh, very good performance. Very good. Perf- Do you know what? I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go with it. It was a very good performance uh, for the women's team against Strathclyde. They thrashed them 59 to 19. And in hockey, the women's team unfortunately lost against RGU 5-1. And unfortunately, women's netball also lost 43-27 to Harmony Row. And in athletics as well, there were two races over the last two weekends. Uh, the first one being at the Houston Relays. Uh, again, you can find them results online at the GC Athletics page. Uh, but the one from this weekend was at the West Districts, where uh, the West Districts Cross Country Relays, the A team for GCU men. 47 which is pretty decent but the performance of the day goes to the A team and the only team for the women's team which finished in 27th. So now to volleyball. And in volleyball both men's and women's team won and I think the women's team won against Dundee so well done guys. It's a fairly new team as far as I'm aware so congrats to all those freshers. Yeah yeah exactly and uh, a tough trip to go all the way up to Dundee and to come away with a win as well. If I'm correct in saying, an early start as well, 11 a.m. match, so, yeah. Rise and shine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I commend you all, I couldn't do that. So, to round up the round up. Yeah, um. <laughs> some teams won, some teams lost. Uh, what's your performance of the week, Rebecca? I'd say women's volleyball's my team of the week because, uh, yeah, they have a lot of freshers and they did well to win against Dundee. I think the women are kind of winning it this week because I was torn between athletics, women's team because that whole race, I was down there racing myself, not for the university and it was grim, it was really really wet and cold so I just commend them in general but performance wise and for actually deciding to go and run it but for me I think it's going to be the rugby team because they won by 40 points and that's that's pretty impressive itself. Yeah. And if I'm correct in saying, 
there's going to be some news on one of the players in kind of near future. Near future. Can't say what yet, but keep your eyes peeled. And you'll find out on Wolfpack Weekly when it does come out. So yes. stay tuned. And I think that's us. So again, thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.